Welcome to the Tone Jerks Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Goward. With me today, we got a, a special guest. Uh, it's been a couple years, actually. Uh, it's like, I, I've been on your, your show a bunch, but I mean, uh, who, who do we got here today? I thought I was banished at first. Banned? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, no, my name is Joe. I'm from, um, you know, Just Surprise Me, the podcast, and the Masters of the Cinematic Universe podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and like uh, with, my pedals. With Doug Christ. <laughs> Doug Christ. So uh, he's a friend of the show. We got international superstar Joseph O'Rourke here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm ready to talk some Seinfeld. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh wait, fuck, <laughs> wrong show, <laughs> wrong podcast, wrong podcast. But uh, Kyle, he's out sick this week. Um, he's got uh, apparently like really bad allergies. <laughs> like Ugh. he's like, I'm like he let's, like he's just fucked up. And I'm like, what? I, you know, he got he got tested for the the one you know yeah, that's been yeah. going around. And it was negative, nine. and he was just like, "I guess I'm just really fucked up from that." <laughs> I'm gonna tease him, but just like his body is rejected, Texas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he, he's old city mean. boy. It's San weird Diego. though because you think like he seems like Mr. Texas dude. Like when I look at Kyle, I think I think Texas like g- huge gun collection, giant yeah, yeah. beard, you know, big imposing dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but should have uh, got yeah. a truck. Yeah, yeah. Texas is not not you know not too too kind to his allergies or whatever. So, he's uh getting adjusted and getting um getting on the the well wellness train, but he's taking this week off. So, has uh, he been there a full year yet? No, I think he's only been uh, since I think May. Okay, so he's still getting the different seasons there. Yeah. Since, you know, oh, San yeah, Diego yeah, yeah. doesn't have seasons. <laughs> no, not really. Uh I think it's Texas like is Florida just, with better weather. I think Texas is just hot and then hot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, Sandy is it, wait. I, I can't ever remember. Like he lives in Austin. It's like an hour outside of Austin. Um, ah. Marble Falls. Mm, that's a, interesting. Uh, that reminds me of that old like Marble Madness game from like Nintendo back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> like the most difficult game I ever played. I don't think I've ever played it. Was it like a pinball kind of deal or what? No, it was like you had to ah, I'm trying to remember now. Like you had these like little mazes and shit with marbles in it and you had to fall down them. And I think there was one where it went. Like kind of like a cuber down the stairs. Okay, was it uh, um, Nintendo or Super Nintendo? Oh no, no, I was basic bitch Nintendo, like okay. original <laughs> NES. See, um, I, I didn't, I didn't get into you know gaming until Super Nintendo. So some of these retro games, I'm like, I never even played. Was not a fucking all, next thing I know, Steve Steve Rao will be fact checking me on this show. Wrong, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually, Joe, it was for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> but. Uh, Anyways, uh, Joe, thanks so much for joining me. I, um, you know, it, it was like I last minute. I think I hit you up last night. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, fuck! I knew, <laughs> I know you. I knew. Uh, I think the last time you were on was like, just Des- I remember it was a December, like the end of a, a year. I think it was probably 2019. So it's been it's been a, it's been a good while since you've been on. Yeah, I, I really thought I pissed you guys off. I'm like, damn, they've never invited me back. They've had like Will on like three or four fucking times. You're like, what the fuck, Will? He's not yeah, even Will's on like, my show. He's like, yeah, he doesn't even show up for our show. He's like the intern that we tase his balls. But uh, you know, I know you're you're a busy guy. You got the you got the, the podcast going on. You got the the pedal company. You got the you got the life going on. But I mean, what's been new in your world? What's shaking? What's grooving? What is good? What is new? Um. I guess it was just, just uh, Thanksgiving, I guess. Yeah, I just got back from uh, North Carolina with the family. We all went up to the mountains for a week. Oh, how was that? It was it was cold, like very fucking cold. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think the entire week it got over 40 degrees. Got a fl- and, Florida uh, boy I, over there. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? What is this? They're like, they're like, you call that a jacket? This <laughs> is a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> You're still wearing shorts. <laughs> yeah, I got like a fucking like um one of those like. You know those windbreaker jackets that's like made out of the thinnest plastic possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one of those, got like one of those a, on. You got a dolphin's jersey and a jacket. Yeah. And you're like, what? I'm ready to go. What's the problem? <laughs> yeah. But I didn't hear any banjos though, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's always a good sign. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, since last time you've been on, you started a- another podcast. Uh, and we've mentioned it before. We've been on your show before. Yeah, you guys did the mask episode. Yep. The Masters of the Cinematic Universe, which is a. Um, kind of like a, it's a movie podcast for the movie, movie buffs. And you guys do a really good job of like, I don't know, going through the movie and all the like nitty gritty of like the scenes and b- stuff that you didn't know, um, about your favorite movies and maybe some of your not favorite movies. So yeah, 
you started it with uh, Doug Christ from 37 Effects, uh, you know, everybody's favorite guy, and Eric Pabone, he's an artist, and uh, you knew him, like, before the show, right? Or was it one of Doug's well, buddies, or I'm, how'd you guys... I met him because, well, he, me and him are are both members of another show called A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan out of Orlando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're BDMs of that show, which stands for Big Dick Millionaires, because <laughs> if you can afford the two ninety five a month to subscribe, you must be a Big Dick Millionaire. Okay, cool. So you you know him from being a fan of another show and being yeah. like, a part of that well, community. He's the official artist for that show. That's right. So in the Facebook group, he was posting pictures that he had drawn for people like custom artwork he had done for people like for holidays, like they wanted this family done as the Simpsons. Mm-hmm. So I reached out to him and said, hey, can you um do the members of our podcast as members of Futurama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he made the, the Just Surprise Me Futurama art. Yeah, uh, with the spaceship that looks like a dick. The and the, the penis spaceship. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, that's a good of, one. Of course, Doug's not in it because it was before Doug. Mm-hmm. So we had to have him re- make another art where he did Taking Back Thursday, which was all of us as an as an emo band. Yeah. And uh, I know everybody except for me hated it. And yeah. Doug is Flavor Flav. There you go, <laughs> Flavor Flav. Yeah, from the You're So Last Summer video. Uh, have you guys posted that art yet? I haven't seen it. I thought so. Um, if not, I'll post it. Got to, I'll, I'll I'll check it out. Um, it's really good, but. Yeah, so it's a it's another podcast, so uh, it's definitely yeah. different than Just Surprise Me, which we've talked about, which is kind of more just like, hey, let's uh, push uh, record. It's the and definition of a shit show. Yeah, and let's uh, let you know, let's have a couple beers and hang out. You know, just get wild with the boys on Just yeah. Surprise Me, <laughs> and then um, yeah, Masters of the Cinematic Universe. Uh, it's a lot more structured, and yeah, it's it's a it's a good time. I was saying to you, I haven't listened to all of them. I definitely pick and choose to listen to the episodes of movies that I've seen. So, yeah. you know, bad on me, you know. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's fine. It, it's a fucking like some of these episodes are four hours long. Like, yeah, but we break them into parts. So it's easier to like digest. So like you can do like one part at a time instead of marathon running it. Like this isn't like the Burt Kreischer podcast, which yeah. is like six hour episodes. <laughs> or just, uh, yeah, the, you're not going to. Joe Rogan expose all of us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. one of those um, where it's like six hours. Like, okay, man. <laughs> it's cool because like it's super fun, but at the same time, it's a lot of work because one, basically, we rotate lead the lead on the episodes, and the lead person's like the play by play of the movie, so they have to watch the movie and take all the fucking notes for the entire movie, and then basically lead the lead the whole episode while the other two guys just make fucking jokes and yeah. trivia, or just try and derail. <laughs> yeah yeah and get really really drunk if you're a guest yeah it's been a lot i mean it's it's a lot of fun and to listen to and just like uh recap the movies that i've seen i'm like oh yeah and i'm like you know one of yeah. the ones that uh stands out for sure um which is probably one of your favorites is idiocracy i love to listen to that uh, episode it's my favorite movie because it's the guys, only movie yeah <laughs> that got a perfect score at least from one of the hosts <laughs> yeah i think um because like what you guys do is like you recap the, or you're going through the movie like a, as you watch it to yeah. talk about it and what's going on um, in the timeline and then you post like or you talk about like oh this is what happened or like oh this director wanted this blah 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 little facts yeah and then you put clips and stuff like that it's a it's a it's a good listen have you um I guess you've done your favorite movie but I mean do you have I don't know to give it away because everybody should listen subscribe. Have you done your least favorite one yet? Or like one oh, yeah. that you've discovered? That like, I actually don't well, like this movie at all. <laughs> we discovered that we're not going to let guests pick the movie because of this. Yeah. We uh, <laughs> had um, Todd from the Guitar Knobs podcast on. Shout out. Shout super out. awesome dude. Yeah, I was yeah. on that show before. And I don't know if here's a little behind the scenes of that show. They won't tell you this, but every so often you, when you're recording with them, you hear a like a clap. And that means they're going to cut out what you just said because it was terrible. And <laughs> I felt like I was getting applause on that show because he clapped so many fucking times. Yeah. There was um Kyle but, uh, and I were were on that one and Yeah, did you get clapped? Uh no, but there was a part where Kyle and I were like, I'm like, don't say that, don't say that. And I <laughs> I, I, like, I could have swore we covered our mics and then Todd he he must have amplified it because he's like, I heard you guys talking about that. Do you guys <laughs> so no, I was like, I, you know, he's I, I, he runs, you know runs a tight I, ship over there at uh, Guitar Knobs. I just say what I want to say and don't really care. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It'd be I, great I if you just like later. bleeped it out. That'd be funnier. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that would be pretty good. But and, anyway, so when he was on the show, he picked this terrible fucking movie called Search and Destroy. <laughs> and it's the worst movie I've seen in my life. <laughs> and I draw the short straw and I had to host the movie, which meant that I had to take notes on it, which meant that I had to watch this movie like five times. And... Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
It was just so bad. It's so fucking bad. I was gonna ask. I'm it's, like, are are you a one? You're not a one take, and then you t- you have your notes. You have to watch it nah, multiple times. Like, if if I'm the one like leading the episode, I definitely got to watch it multiple times to take my notes. Mm-hmm. And like, what I'll do is I'll I'll run like my my I have a 50 inch monitor here, and then my computer here. Yeah, I'll run the movie on the monitor, take my notes in Word, and then just pause, take notes, pause, take notes, pause, take notes, and then like basically takes about an hour and a half. Movie will take about four hours to do notes on. It's like, um, I like that your computer monitor is bigger than my desk. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got tired of not being able to see like schematics and shit. So I just bought it. I was like, I could buy a monitor or I could buy a 50 inch TV and just set it on my desk. Yeah, like, so I just got a 50 inch TV and ran an HDMI cable for my laptop. Yeah. You're not too worried about like color correction or whatever the hell that is. You're like, no, make it big and bold, baby. <laughs> exactly. My eyes aren't that good anyway. So yeah. like <laughs> I could barely see anything. I need something just big. Yeah. It's Florida. It doesn't have to be good. It just has to be big and loud. <laughs> big and flashy. Yeah. You got yeah. <laughs> like, but, uh, we always get make fun of the Florida people. Like, it's cause we're just loud, obnoxious people. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it, it's, it's been a, it's been a fun show. I haven't, I should listen to that. The guitar, the Todd episode just to hear the. Oh yeah. You'll I, hear a shit all over this movie and then him like try to defend it. Oh, he did it in like in earnest. It was a good, like, he Oh, he loves it. this movie. He thinks it's like one of the best movies ever made. And then the three of us are just like tr- trying our hardest. It's like me on Biodome. Like I love Biodome, but mm-hmm. Doug and Eric hated it. <laughs> they thought it was a terrible worst movie ever made type situation. And see, I'm pretty like I enjoy the podcast and I'm pretty bad because I'm not like a movie guy at all. Like I'm like I I think this past year I I can't actually 2021 I don't know if I've seen a new movie. Oh shit! <laughs> That's how bad I am. Uh, I, I am I've gonna go see. I want to see it's an anime movie. Uh, there's Sword Art Online comes out this Friday. Gonna check it out. Okay. And then uh, Spider Man. That's what I want to see this year. Yeah, <laughs> those are my Dude, like, two. That'll probably be my two. Fucking crazy over the Spider Man movie, and I'm like I don't get it. Like I'm not a Spider Man fan though. So oh, like, see that's that's where I differ. And I you know I will say you know to you know. The reason why I like all the movies is because I'm just a big fan. I I liked yeah. them when I was a kid. I mean, I'm a Marvel and... fan, a big giant Marvel fan. Just I don't, I never really liked Spider Man that much. I think I, 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 as a kid, he was my favorite. Loved the cartoons, loved the comics, loved the video games, the the toy, all that. And I'm, I'm still even today. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm fucking stoked because they just announced they're gonna relaunch the X Men cartoon. Like they're calling X Men '97. They're gonna make new episodes of that. Oh, that's cool. Really? Is yeah, it, it's uh... gonna be animated again. Um. It's gonna be because Disney, all the Disney Plus thing. Disney or? Plus, okay, yeah, the X Men animated series, like from the '90s, is on um, Disney Plus right now. You can watch all the old episodes. See, I, which I, that was always my favorite. Yeah, I should. I and I, I said, oh, I should watch it. I never watch. I mean, I don't watch anything. <laughs> I never have. I don't know how you guys have time. I, I'm just pissed because like my favorite superhero never got fucking any real play in any of the movies, and that's a uh, Gambit because Gambit's the best. Yeah. Okay. He's like uh, a he smooth talking a, ladies man. I remember he was in the car- Cajun. cartoon. Yeah. A lot. Oh, the cartoon, he was the best because he was just an asshole all yeah. the time. And he was sarcastic. Like they're all fighting and he's like hitting on the lady at the perfume counter. <laughs> I'll uh, yeah. I, I, I yeah, I I remember the cartoon. I never really watched it because I was watching, you know, like probably Power Rangers or fucking Spider Man or something shit like that. And um yeah, I mean the Spider Man cartoon. Uh, that, again, I love that. That was a good one. Was I a, did like that one. It was boys. It was like Fox. It was like Fox. It was X Men. I, I want to just since so I don't get the haters. I don't dislike Spider Man. I just don't really like Spider. It's like it's not like he's, I, he's just another person to me. I think it's like the the masses love Spider Man, but I a, yeah. a lot of my friends don't. They just yeah, don't. I mean, I'm I, like, I, I realize th- you can tell like. When you talk to people like which hero they like tells you a lot about this person. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm like I, I I'm I'm a basic bitch for sure, Spider Man, because yeah. I I think he's a lot of people's favorites. But I'm like you, not a big Spider Man guy. R J, fucking Kyle, uh, you're yeah. just like no, nah, take it or leave him. <laughs> Although of the MCU characters, I fuck with Thor the most. Thor's like my boy. Like I get him. Like yeah, he's I fucking him. awesome. I liked him in the movies, but I didn't I didn't know really anything about him before that. You know. Yeah, I mean, I was into, always into Vikings and Norse mythology and shit too. So like, it was kind of cool. But um, that's just in the movies. He just uh, fucking Chris Hemsworth took that shit to the next level. Yeah, he was definitely like a, a. I mean, and that's a cool thing or a bad thing, whatever you want to take about it. From the Avengers movies, it's like they're all like leading characters. You're like, 
Oh, yeah. shit. You're kind of like almost and like I love it like paralysis. when they get to a point where they can't figure out who should be the leading leading character too. Yeah. Like cuz it's just it's it's beautiful fucking anarchy. Yeah. <laughs> but Which, yeah, speaking they, of beautiful mm-hmm. anarchy, um I just I don't know why I don't want to forget to say this but the new season of It's Always Sunny starts tonight. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you DVRing it so that you can do the podcast? I appreciate oh, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> God, I fucking No, and they have an Always Sunny podcast now too. That's actually hosted by Charlie Mack and Dennis, which is great. Yeah. Are are, are you digging that one? Yeah, I'm fucking loving it cuz they give you behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Like it's not just, you know, them reviewing the episode. It's it's a lot of them talking about the shit they did at that point in their lives and it's it's pretty interesting. Yeah, there's a Talking Sopranos, which is uh for a couple of the guys from Sopranos. They uh, nice. and then they have I- interviews with people from the show. Obviously, they did the show. So as I was watching, I gotta go back and dive back into the show. Let's see, let's uh, Michael Imperioli and Steve Shrippa, Shrippa. Yeah, Michael Imperioli fucking does everything, man. That dude is in like everything. Yeah, it's a, it, it's a good listen. So I'm I, I I think I made it through season one. I gotta go. I mean. Uh, Adam from my band, just in case, uh, shout out, what up? I mean, uh, <laughs> like, why did I plug that? Um, he was saying like, oh, dude, you finished the print. I got through season one. He was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you haven't finished it yet? <laughs> he was I'm like, I'm like, oh, fuck. I got to get the, get on that. But I feel like, f- mm-hmm. oh no, go, go ahead. Oh, I just, I feel like I'm like, oh man, I have like so many things I, I watch and yeah. then new things. Like, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, ah, I have to be in the mood to do it. So sometimes you watch or, um, like rewatch like old things. And yeah, I'm, no, I'm I do that all the time. Big I'm on like, that with, should stuff. I watch this new series I want to watch or should I watch community for the 15th time? Exactly. I'm big on that with like Seinfeld. I'm like, yeah. Uh, doing obviously the podcast with Andrew second button. What up? No. I, <laughs> oh yeah. Andrew uh, Walsh. Get fucked. Get fucked. Um, I'm, I, like I'm loving that show again. I have it's like a show that you've seen. I've seen every episode yeah. probably like ten to fifteen to twenty times. I'm about to start still, it again because of you guys. Still, Otherwise, I would have never started it. Still not sick of it. I, that's that's a lot. I guess it could be a lot to say either for me or the show. Yeah, I I'm mean, like oh, you. It was like Brian. Like, there's more to watch. I'm like, yes, I know, but there's also signs. Like it was always sunny. Like first, like. There's so there's so much similarity between the two shows. Yeah, and then uh, trailer. They're just the worst people doing the worst things all the time. (laughs) Yeah, I watched. um, Yeah, I I just pick and just jumping into like, oh, here's season seven, whatever random episode. Yeah, let's watch this. See, that's what I love about those kind of shows. It doesn't matter where you come in; like, you know the show so well that you can watch any episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like that with Always Sunny, yeah, Futurama, Community. Like, those are my go-to shows. Yeah, I know you guys talked about it a lot on Just Surprise Me, but Futurama. Obviously, you guys had the you know the artwork yeah. done of you guys. I'm like, that's a show I need to go back to and rewatch the whole thing. I feel like I it's caught so most good. of it, but I'm like, there's a lot of like, I know they had like they had like just randomly stopped and then they got picked up again for like. Well, they got movies. canceled and then they got picked up and they got canceled again and then they yeah. got picked up by Comedy Central. And then Comedy Central was just going to do movies. Then they decided yeah, yeah. it was so fucking popular that they should just do a whole new series. And then they brought it back, and then they were just like, "Okay, we're we're kind of weaning interest to like just end it, but leave yeah. it open for more." So that was a show that I'm like, "Oh man, that kind of is seven seasons, I believe, and it's like it's it's closed, so you can." There's watch really the whole no thing. bad episodes though. Like, yeah, I remember every re- episode's pretty fucking good. Yeah, really digging it, and it may have not have been like stronger in certain parts from what I've heard, yeah. and I'm like, "Oh yeah," but it still was super solid. It's not like. Uh, where they're just dragging that thing through the mud like Simpsons. Yeah. Like, like they, that's the thing. Let that it's a, thing it's, die. It's a Matt Groening project that's actually fucking like 100% consistent. Like Simpsons was never consistent. It went up and down in yeah. quality. I mean, it was, uh, and I've said it before, uh, I think somebody gave us like a negative review. I mean, the show really picked up for season three of The Simpsons and then it yeah. ended or it started. I can't being watch like, those first seasons of The Simpsons anymore. It's just so bad. Yeah, it was it was just different, and it was like the, the voices. animation. And I watched these live. Like I remember watching all the Simpsons live growing up. Like I'd wait till Sunday nights and go sit in there, and then like my parents would get mad at me because I'm watching this terrible show. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. And then even watching it live, yeah, Sundays. I remember the uh, Who Shot Mr. Burns. That one oh, like yeah, really sticks episode. with me for some reason because I'm like I was really like oh shit because it was like such a big 
like campaign. Moment. Yeah, it was like who shot it. the fucking uh, Jr. in Dallas. Mm-hmm. I remember <laughs> like, it was our generations that. <laughs> yeah, and I remember um, like it was like ads. There was like Butterfingers. There was like yeah. you know, at you know Seven Eleven. It's like different cups of like who do you think killed them? And then when you found yeah. out it was the baby, it's like the fuck. <laughs> wah, wah. Or how about when Mr. Burns was the ghost? Yeah, or the alien. <laughs> and Not the you, ghost, the alien. I, yeah, I remember watching all those live. Or you know, yeah. it, you know, it, it, when they premiered at least. Do you remember all the canceled shows that used to be we used to watch? Like, oh, this show's gonna be the next, like the next Simpsons. Like there was one called The Family Dog. I don't know why that one sticks in my mind. <laughs> I don't remember that one, no. It was this weird dog that was shaped like a triangle and it was shitty animation. <laughs> um, I don't remember much about the show except for I really liked it. There was another one called Capital Critters, which were like rats that lived in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't I don't remember that one. Uh, I love the fucking all the canceled Fox shows. Well, there was. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other ones. I did once like once we started getting cable, it definitely was a big Comedy Central fan, yeah. especially like with South Park, you know? Oh, and yeah. And there was like the spinoff, which I do remember this one. Um, It was I think it's with uh the creators from South Park. It was That's My Bush. It was oh, yeah. like only a few <laughs> episodes because I mean, the yeah. uh, 9-11 happened. I have completely fucking forgot and about that. And they just like, we're fucking done. And I'm like, yeah. And I've, as a kid, like, cause I'm like, I was like eight years old, nine years old or something like that. And I'm like, well, what happened on this show? And I'm like, my dumb ass <laughs> didn't understand <laughs> what's going like on. Like how TV worked. <laughs> yeah. Or how um, the world was. Obviously I'm like, yeah, well, this show oh, yeah. stopped. It was, it's, it's gone. What's it? Where is it? <laughs> it was a uh, show well, making like, um, fun of George Bush. And then every, yeah. you know, the, you know, uh, tragedy of 9-11 happened. He's like, oh, you, you better fucking stop that. <laughs> And then, uh, but yeah, it, but and, and not to bring it down. Of course, yeah, Brian, bring it down. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. We're making fun of Bush. It's always bringing it up. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> you know, I thought like it's, it's really funny. A couple years ago, like maybe two years ago, I was thinking like, "Fuck, I miss George Bush." <laughs> like, like <laughs> yeah. you know, it's bad when like how bad have shit got when you miss George Bush? You're like, oh, that goofy fucker. <laughs> I mean, like he was stupid. But at least he didn't do the shit like other people are doing. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I got a bunch of stuff I wanted to bring up, and I'm just I'm gonna try and do my best to segue because I think this is a good segue. So we were we were t- <laughs> I, I, I preempt it. I'm gonna leave all. So that we were in. talking about Seinfeld. No, we were talking about uh, shows that you kind of rewatch as maybe like comfort shows or whatever. Yeah, and stuff like that. Um, are there, is there like comfort like music or podcasts that you listen to and maybe re-listen to over and over again because uh, just today they had the uh, Spotify wrapped and yeah, that's I when I saw how many hours or how many minutes and actually you days I listened, listened to, to certain... I've listened to come down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to like 299 episodes of come down and it ended up being like, I think almost, almost a month worth of podcasts. <laughs> Because I yeah, listened I to like, it, because I would put, I would, I honestly, okay, this is what I did. I went back and re-listened to the the series, yeah, or not the series, the podcast, uh, the uh, come down from episode one to like the end or whatever. And then sometimes like, oh man, I don't know, I'm falling asleep. I'm just, so I fall asleep listening to podcasts. I just click up come down, it just automatically plays. So Spotify was like, wow, you listen to a lot of come down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> surprised you don't get more targeted marketing. Yeah, and this is the dumb Welcome name. Welcome to Jizzerton. Yeah. <laughs> So, Come Town is a comedy podcast with uh, Nick Mullen, Stavros Alkius, and Adam Friedland. And uh, it's just, they picked the stupidest name because they honestly didn't think the show was actually going to go anywhere. <laughs> and then now it's like, we're cursed with this fucking yeah. show. We can't get acting gigs. We probably can't, like, you know, do anything else besides comedy in this fucking podcast. You mean comedy? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the comedy. So, um, <laughs> That was my Spotify. I was like, oh, I definitely like, I, I think I sent it to you. I'm like, dude, I listened to this many, yeah. minutes, like 40,000 minutes. And you're like, Jesus, because well, that's, I mean, a, that's what I'll do is I'll, I probably I'll... listen to the equivalent on podcasts. Cause I mean, I drive like 12 hours a day and all I do is listen to podcasts, mm-hmm. but like I listen to on podcast addicts. So like Spotify didn't like, I don't have that thing on there, but yeah, like I know I listened to the entire Futurama series, the entire like uh community series, like on these shows. I've I've start to finish episodes, the Star Trek ones. 
And then um, uh, I listen to a lot of football podcasts. Do you happen to re-listen to episodes, or is that are you not that? Only with Tom and Dan, because like a mediocre time with Tom and Dan is probably my favorite podcast of all time. I was looking um, into that. You, are they a podcast or are they like a radio, like internet? They're a podcast. Okay. Um, they started like as part of the morning show. They were members of the morning show on the talk radio in Orlando. Mm-hmm. Um, and like, like Dan had been on on the real like the real radio station, which is one hundred four point one in Orlando. He was on that station for like eighteen years, mm-hmm. and then he he eventually just decided he was done with radio and wanted to go do podcasting full time. So him and this other guy from the show with him, like who's Tom, like yeah. decided to go do their podcast. And now they've been doing that for like, I think 10 years or so now. Um, and they've been doing it for a long fucking time. They got like around 700 episodes. Not, and that's not even including the ones they sell back to the radio station. They quit. Yeah. So the radio station that they quit from, they do like a censored version of their show called a corporate time. Oh, okay. and they sell that back for the 7 PM slot on the radio station. Oh, that's so really cool. basically they do their Friday free show, which is just straight up explicit all they want. They do five uh, episodes of corporate time every week to send to the radio station. Mm-hmm. And then for their, their private BDM members, they do um, like BDM private shows, okay, uh, like, which like are a, the most horrible things possible. <laughs> like, they're, a, like a bonus podcast kind of deal. Yeah. They're like really good people that talk about really horrible things. Yeah. yeah you get the good stuff behind the paywall over there. <laughs> yeah, Exactly. <laughs> Um, and we've had a couple of members of their show on Masters of the Cinematic Universe. We mm-hmm. had Travis Butler, who's their sales guy. He came and did um, Empire Strikes Back. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we had Samantha Har, who's their producer, and she did uh, Fight Club with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling uh, me that was, which, a, was a wild uh, one, right? <laughs> yeah, Doug Doug was really trying to keep the trains on the train on the tracks in that one. Let, let's just say alcohol uh, alcohol is fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, I, I loved it the whole time. I'm just laughing my ass off, but... Uh, <laughs> The drinks, the drinks are flowing over there. Yeah, I just thought I didn't have to like lead the episode. That was a Doug episode. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that's rad. Yeah. Um. So I, I was like, yeah, just definitely looking at my Spotify Wrapped. I'm like, I was not yeah. surprised, but I was also like, that's a lot of like to like quantify everything. Did you well, uh, do just, your Spotify Wrapped? Yeah. Um. It was mostly music I listened to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were saying I sent you earlier my top five um artists. Uh, number one was a surprise. So I had never heard of this band before this year. And like, I picked them up and I fell in love with them. And that's uh Polyphia. Yeah. Yeah. You're sending me, I think before you were like, Oh, I haven't done it yet, but I basically, I bet it's all rap, which, uh, yeah. you know, uh, a good portion of it is, I mean, in number two places, DJ Khaled, mm-hmm. DJ Khaled, <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> He's a my Mi- Miami. He was basically, he was a DJ on a radio station in Miami. And like, he doesn't even really do the music. All he does is like put people together to make these like powerhouse rap tracks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he's like he's like a fucking producer, I guess. Um, then Little Wayne's number three because I fucking love Little Wayne. Little Wayne, I yeah, honestly couldn't pick a sign a song out of a lineup. I've never heard it. it, it when you sent me this. I'm like, I know a couple of those guys. <laughs> well, I know funny- DJ Khaled from memes. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You played yourself. I'm like, I know that meme. <laughs> He makes some of the biggest like fucking like banger tracks. Mm-hmm. Like, you, I'm sure you've heard them in passing, even if you didn't realize it. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, I have, just even from radio or just being, b- yeah, existing. Like the the all I do is win is is a DJ Khaled song. Okay. Um, but Little Wayne, I mean, Little Wayne's a fucking genius lyricist. Like a lot of people like don't like him because he's fucking vulgar and disgusting, and or they just talks p- about horrible things. Pick but it, if you pick, like, yeah, or they just pick him apart. He's like, he's a bad guitar player. I'm like, yeah, okay. But if you like, open up, just like, don't listen to the music. Open up a lyrics of his songs and just read the lyrics. You're like, this guy's a fucking genius, or a fucking like pothead who just comes up with random ass shit. <laughs> You're like, he's um, just he's just out there. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. I mean, the shit he says, real G's move in silence like lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then I've heard and that it, line. I think you stand under me if you don't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> like this shit's just fucking great um taking back sunday of course is on my list number yeah. four because uh i sent you that that artwork also the taking back thursday uh just surprised me artwork oh nice yeah, um, yeah. i sent it a messenger so you can see what that looks like but i fucking love taking back sunday and i guarantee you it's like 80 percent tell all your friends and then 20 percent the other albums because <laughs> uh, i listen to that album a lot uh and then number five was run the jewels yeah i think i know one song from them <laughs> yeah 
Um, Zach De La Rocha does a few songs with him also, which is kind of cool because mm-hmm. he came out of nowhere. He's like, where the fuck have you been for the past 20 years? Nice. And all of a sudden he's like in all these run the jewel songs. But yeah, I mean, none of those are really a surprise except for Polyphia. Yeah. That one surprised me. Cause like, well, I mean, I knew they'd be on there because I've been listening to them a lot, that, but they that were surprised actually, that I'd never heard of them. Yeah. That actually surprises me because I like, I talked to that just surprised me. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> that surprises yeah. me because I'm like, I know you. I'm like, that doesn't seem like a band you would listen to at least from, uh, oh no! Like I love just like, surprise me. Prog, and you talk about yeah. I love prog metal though. Like Protest the Hero is my favorite band. Yeah, and I'm surprised they didn't make the list because I listen to a lot of Protest the Hero. It might also like, be a like, thing too. It's like where you're maybe jumping around between so many different artists, but because you yeah. discovered them this year, you're like, oh, you just like, oh, I'm gonna listen to this album or these songs or whatever. Da, da, da. So b- well, then I've been trying to learn the guitar parts, so like, like because they're fun. They're yeah. ridiculously hard, but they're fun. Yeah, they're a fucking killer band. I was I was telling you, uh, what's the album with uh, Champagne on it? Uh, That's a Forty Ounces to Freedom, I think. No, it's Muse or Most Hated uh, from Polyphia. It's Muse. That album is Muse. Okay, so the one that has like you know the, the flowers and the oh yeah, yeah okay that, that yep one. yep there you go yeah that one we're, we're on video so I'm like oh look at this one yeah. oh, cool yeah it's so much nicer I uh man that is sick I got a sick suggested that band from you know uh listening to c2a which is a prog instrumental metal guitarist uh you know that i like that he does a lot of kind of like concept albums where he'll do like oh this is like a space kind of theme this yeah. one is uh you know a three anime ones that's how i found out about him <laughs> that's cool but he's a really killer guitar i mean dude the guy fucking rips um and then he's just a bedroom guitarist like literally that's how he records and then yeah. um, I guess they were a, a suggested. I don't think they've ever played together, but it was suggested um, was Polyphia. I'm like, okay, whatever. It's like, a, you, know, you know, you finish like an EP or whatever, and then mm-hmm. it'll go to like, all right, well, you might like this. I'm like, it was one of the days that I'm like, all right, Spotify. Hit I'll me. listen to you, bitch. Hit, hit me. And then I heard that <laughs> yeah. uh, song Champagne, which is like, yeah, starts that's the off, first time I like, learned how to play. Yeah. Like I can almost play that entire song now. It's just like, that starts off with this, crazy riff and yeah and you're like holy shit it's very like yeah the it's so good rhythm is just like that is so musical and like rhythmic at the same like you're you're creating the beat i'm like holy shit i'm not a good guitar yeah. player i'm not good <laughs> that's and, that that was the first song from them i learned because like i don't know i just loved that fucking riff um it's so good and mm-hmm. then um my favorite song from them is called So Strange, which is weird because it's the only one that actually has vocals. It has this guy called Kuko singing. Mm-hmm. I haven't but, heard, um, heard that one. I guess I'm mainly into It's on New Devil's New Levels, Okay, the newest album. The same one that has Goat, which is the song everybody knows by them. Yeah, I know that um, song. <laughs> it was cool, though, because I was watching a video of like how Tim Henson writes, mm-hmm. and he's basically trying to make trap music, like, but with instrumentation. Yeah. So when he writes the drum parts, they're all drums bass, all trap drum bass beats, but then he like he thinks about like a vocalist like rapping the guitar parts. So the guitar parts are supposed to be like rap. Like it's like the singer rapping over it. Okay. Yeah, I guess maybe I have I I'm mainly like I was like on repeat for their 2014 the Muse yeah. album. Um that one was just really cool because of what they were doing with Yeah, the that guitar- was more the, straightforward. Well, what they were doing with the guitars. I guess that's more yeah. in line of what the instrumental stuff that I have been listening to. It's like just the guitar parts are doing things, which I'm like, I guess it's super common. But for me, when you hear like the thing where they like, maybe with their pinky or whatever, they flick oh, the little the, brrr, yeah, brrr. with a flutter that they do. I'm yeah. Like, he hits, he fucking just, he just, he's playing them. will hit the whammy bar. Just like, brrr. yeah. <laughs> and then I, I, I saw a uh, CTA do that live. I'm like, what? Yeah. It's the weirdest that's, like thing. You don't like expect it. And I'm like, that's a thing you can do. And you, when you yeah. hear it, it's, it sounds like an effect or like a yeah, po- post production kind of thing. But like, no, that's real. That means the guitars, yeah. like they're hitting one note and, go, and I'm like, yeah. Oh my God. I know nothing about playing guitar. <laughs> I know. Like I feel like I have never been so humbled at guitars trying to learn how to play some of their songs. Yeah. And Them and protest the hero. Like those mm-hmm. are the two bands. I try to learn how to play their songs. And it's just so insanely difficult. Yeah. I was trying to learn a C2A song and just the chords. I'm like, how do you have eight fingers? <laughs> yeah. That can, um, completely different genre, but snarky puppy. That's like another band. I fucking like mm-hmm. love, love. 
that I'm trying to learn. It's like jazz fusion. Yeah. All right. Um, are you, uh, so do you, uh, when you, when you're playing guitar, cause I know you also play for uh, your church. Do you, um, when you're just at home, I guess do you practice for your church gigs. That's for, that's an one, I mean, one, one question. The music's really easy. <laughs> like, okay. Really, really easy. So I'll listen to a song like once and be like, okay, I can play that. And I just like, I learned the lead line and then like the rest of it, I just guitar solo the whole time. Like I'm playing guitar hero because yeah, why I, not? I always ask this cause I only know a few people who play for church and it, every time it fascinates me, I know Scott Hamilton effects loop, uh, you and Steve. And I'm like, every time I'm like, well, what do you do? How's that? Like, is that cool? What do you learn? I'm like, and I hear just like from just like, st- like, I guess you guys kind of learn maybe a set list, but I guess it's maybe not too crazy. And each week it's yeah, different. Like, so each week they'll send you like three or four songs and then you just basically learn those songs. Now, a lot of people cheat and just run an iPad in front of them, but like, I don't because it's easy. It's like I play scales. Like if you know, if you know all your scales and you know what key you're in, then you can do anything. You're like, like it doesn't matter. No, me, it's pentatonic figure one, baby. <laughs> That's all <laughs> I need. Here we go. <laughs> and like, for some reason, like the new church music all sounds like country music. So I've been trying to like make it as like generic country sounding guitar as possible just to like laugh. I'm like yeah. doing these crazy bends and shit. <laughs> you get a B bender. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Right. I'll, hold, I'll hold like two strings. I'll hold the top two strings all and then just bend the G string. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, uh, you just like show up with just like a tube screamer. And you're like, that's it. That's all I needed. <laughs> yeah. Like, and uh, it's funny, man. I just like, I don't know. Like, I've really uh, got to the point where I'm just like playing guitar solos the entire time now. That's all I do. Cause like there's like three synth players an acoustic player, a piano player, mm-hmm. like everyone's playing chords. I'm like, I have nothing to really do that. Like it's that hasn't already been done. So I'm just like, I'm going to play guitar solos the entire time. Yeah. That's all I do. <laughs> You're I like, just run up and down the scales. Let, let, let me see what I can do, what I can get away with before Pretty it, much, I, yeah. I, I, I piss somebody off. And you're like, and then I realized like they turned down in the house anyways. Cause there's some old lady in the front row that complains like, it's too loud. Yeah, they, so like get the blue hair running the like, we're running like 50 decibels. Like you can hear the actual strings of the guitar from the stage. Like yeah. here's, here's, over the here's, seats. here's rustling of papers while you guys are playing. Yeah. Oh, and they put like a million dollar system in our building. Our, our building seats almost 2000 people. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, yeah, it's a big one. Like for Easter, we get 10,000 people when we play the arena at the university of Florida. Holy shit. Yeah. I think mean, yeah, we're I think uh, probably in your group or whatever, uh, your uh, the Patreon group for your podcast, and I think you've talked about like, oh yeah, we play these biggest shows. I'm like, that's like my biggest show that I've ever played. <laughs> it's like the church gig <laughs> that you do. Yeah, so, yeah. It's like it's like even when I was in my bands, like that I was back in the day in, like yeah. I uh, we, like. I never played shows that big. I played House of Blues with like you know yeah yeah that's that's, a, that's or what something. we did or we did like. House of Blues is probably like twelve hundred fifteen. I think yeah. they, they're fifteen, and we all—I can't remember we, how many sit. At we the we just opened up for a national. They weren't there for us. They were there for all time low. They're Correct. Like, yeah. When is all time low coming up? I'm like in thirty minutes. We're yeah. gonna play. <laughs> so just hold tight. And luckily we were we we, we they opened up us. for Chris Chris Caraba's band before he was in Further Seems Forever. It was called the Vacant Andes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're like, oh, there's there's asses in the seats. They're not yeah, there to see like, me, but I'll take it. This guy eventually is going to become, going to become dashboard confessional and be one of the fucking like uh, most like um, uh, women seeking bands. I don't know how to oh, like yeah. word that right, but like a uh, teen heartthrob, like emo bands. Yeah, yeah te- the, the, the teeny boppers, the, the tiger beat yeah. band. No. <laughs> for, yeah, yeah, for emo, the for emo, yeah. For the like, emo tiger beat band. Yeah. 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 And like, we're just looking at this dude like he's a fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I was, I was asking for your, you're your playing routine. I know you're a busy guy. Are you so you're trying to like learn other people's songs? Are you like learning Polyphia songs, or that's how you you're playing and getting your get your chops well, in? It's weird because like back when I was in my band days, like when I was trying to like you know actually be in bands, mm-hmm. um, I never would learn anyone else's songs because I didn't want it to influence my writing. Like I didn't want to sound like this person, so I would just play whatever I thought of. That sounds because, like I, me as a kid to now basically i'm barely learning yeah. it i'm like get out of my head joe <laughs> yeah i was like uh, i was like i don't want to sound like this person like i don't want someone like the m- biggest insult was like coming to me like oh you sound like this band i'm like no that band sounds like me fuck you <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you're like no that that's that's me and they're yeah, they're so, ripping off my style 
Of course. But lately, like, I don't think I'm ever going to, like, have, like, a regular band again just because I'm too fucking old and have kids and everything and I'm tired. Um, if anything, I might have, like, a dad cover band, like an emo cover, a pop punk emo cover band. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to talk Eric Pavone from uh, Masters into, like, doing a, a band with me. Mm-hmm. Um, is he, uh, but, does he play? Yeah. But, but not, like, seriously either. But, I mean, ever since, you know, I quit them, them who shall not be named yeah. by me. <laughs> Like I haven't really done many bands. I did one more band after that. And it was just because I wanted to use the name the morning after, Yeah, but like it was M O U R N like the morning. Oh, okay. Because That's, you got it. You, you know, got to give that a shot after a day to remember there's the morning after there's morning after. Yeah. And that was where that, that, that was the last real band I did. Like, you know, where I was actually playing my own shit. And then like I had to work. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Uh, sometimes like practicing, just like picking up a guitar. It's, actually really fun and easy to do sometimes yeah. i just don't give myself time to do it i'm just like no i get you 100%. well we we had like two or three hour band practice this week and that's me on bass and i'm like no nah, i'm done i did it and i'm like i haven't picked up a goddamn six string yeah. guitar and the- i've just been picking songs lately to learn like right before we started this since i had that extra hour i was like well, i'm gonna learn some songs i was playing some muse songs okay yeah 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 I th- um i i really love learning muse's bass lines they have a really fucking fun bass bass player mm-hmm. i always know that what's what what's that one the really popular bass line that you hear in every hysteria i think is that the one yeah the one they hear in every guitar center yeah. where you go in <laughs> yeah, yeah everyone plays it but no one plays it right ever <laughs> you're like oh you missed a note there you take some yeah, liberties with that one <laughs> see whereas before i didn't want to learn anybody's music ever now i'm like it has to be perfect like i can't it can't be wrong at all i'm like because i'm that guy now yeah it's like oh uh, like, you you're playing um, actually, you're playing it wrong. Actually, yeah. you adjust your glasses. Um, yeah. <laughs> you just, um, um, uh, that's I, how, I, I, I don't mean to be that guy, but you know, you missed the note. Yeah, it's like, well, you're you're doing a good job of being that guy. <laughs> yeah, but I like I like ridiculous bass lines. Like I can't play boring bass lines. Like I'm learning Primus on bass. I'm learning Red Hot Chili Peppers, Muse, like those kind of bands. Yeah, it, and Duran Duran, surprisingly enough, has a really fucking fun bass player. Oh, really? Okay. I never, yeah, Rio is one of the coolest bass lines ever. I guess I that doesn't stick out to me. I guess I'll, I'll have to give it a shot. Go back and listen to the song Rio. Her name is Rio and she dances on the sand. Mm-hmm. But if you listen to the bass line of that song, he's just fucking boom 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 It's like fucking fast as hell with slap bass. You're like, what the fuck? Like, is there a drummer the whole there? Song no, it's all literally bass. The drummer and the bass player are having fun, and the guitar player's like BAM! every couple he minutes. just does slides it's like no this is yeah. i i just found a reverb pedal i found out about these and we're using these <laughs> oh and then there's like a synth with an arpeggio the whole fucking time <laughs> and that's that that's what that song is but the bass parts are ridiculously good i think when i was first like learning bass uh, like that was like my first instrument i was like wanting to be very like busy and definitely like walking bass lines as much as mm-hmm. I'm not a huge fan of ska. I was going to say, so you played ska also. Exactly, yeah. I was definitely <laughs> uh, rancid. That was my, I loved uh, like learning Matt Freeman's bass lines. Mine and, was Real Big Fish. Yeah, uh, Beer. I learned that one. Yeah. I couldn't say. A I, sellout I it. was really fun. Mm-hmm. It's hard as fuck, but that's a fun bass line. I think it's just like the walking ones. And I was like, I want to be yeah. busy. Da, 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 da. And then the more that I play in bands, maybe I'm just not there creatively, but I... I'm not writing super busy ones. I'm more about just like finding the right parts. Cause if I, even if just adding a part, like, like, dun, 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 and I'm like, yes. Yeah. And when that sticks out, I get, you know, if you, if I, if I well, get, sometimes a, get less right. is more, mm-hmm. if you're playing, like if you're keeping it real chill the whole time, and then you just add like a nice little, like flourish as you change the, the sections of the song, it's, it, it, it kind of sticks out more. And like, yeah, becomes a better, more noticeable thing. And I, I, I've already given away my my secret, which is always slides. I get a little slide going into the notes, like yeah. boom, or like boom, and like you know, or out of a note, boom, boom, boom. and then I'm like, you know, you you pull back and slide back down, and then I'm like, that's my only like my go to baseline. I do it all the time, but when I do it in a spot that I should, that's when I get like the rec- you know recognition from you know Brian and Adam. They're like, now that was good. We yeah. should. <laughs> <laughs> we should both we should all do something right there 
because I found the right spot to do the slide, and they're like, okay, hit the tom, go, digga, 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 boom, and then, you know, and then Adam's like, oh, I'll slide down too. And so when I got yeah. down, I'm like, yes, I did I did it right one time, <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, I'm the peacock. I like to, like, fucking fan my feathers out and, like, play all the fucking crazy shit. <laughs> but I grew up, like, because, I, I mean, I was in jazz band all through school, so, like, basses and jazz bands moving constantly. Like, mm-hmm. you don't sit still, like, unless you're playing a slow song. And even then you're still walking, you're just walking slowly. Yeah. But um, but that and my other all I ever listened to growing up was like Primus and yeah and shit. And like Les Claypool is not the guy who's for chill bass players. He's like There's, the craziest fucking bass player there is. Yeah, I definitely grew up like listening to a lot of like punk, pop punk and stuff like that. And there's definitely like either yeah. one or the other. So you Yeah, you're you, either doing everything or nothing. Yeah, you're like the Matt Freeman rancid guy. Or and or you know to a, a certain degree, um, Mike Durant from uh, Green Day was mm-hmm. pretty fucking busy in some of those earlier yeah. stuff, and then but, I mean, you mean the only stuff that matters? Yeah, <laughs> I I'm I'm, a, I'm a, an American idiot fan. I love that that one. But I, I that new Green Day is terrible. Like I can't I, I agree with you that on that one. Um, it's uh, like pop music. It's not even like rock anymore. It's just or you know it's I I'm uh, totally down with like good poppy music or whatever just as long as it's good it's yeah I well could, i am too I, just don't call it green day <laughs> yeah or, or i mean fine, you know get, it's anything with no like no doubt like tragic kingdom was a great fucking album and then like it's the gwen stefani show well for, yeah for them i'm like i understand because like get the bag you know secure the bag you know yeah <laughs> you're like hey but no. don't call it no doubt <laughs> and they're like well they're also like no i mean we will and we're gonna make money so i mean to me I, i'm not too much like, of a I What's understand the drummer the doing? He's sitting there like pressing the button on the drum machine or something because he's like not playing drums anymore. <laughs> yeah, he's like, all right, cool, click. All right. Like, how I... hard was it to make Hey Baby, Hey Baby? Yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, okay, cool. So, piss break? Sweet. <laughs> yeah. So, you don't really need me today. I'll get the coffee. <laughs> cool. Um. Yeah. Can you make that check uh, to cash today? <laughs> so, yeah. they're still making, I, I'm sure they're like, you know, still music integrity and stuff like that. I guess I'm like less of like, you know, of a I guess like romanticizing like music anymore I guess like when I when I think of like Green Day when you you said like I'm not a huge fan I'm, I was and the Green Day is still one of my favorite bands but I don't if they changed I guess I don't really mind that much because like they changed for them and they're not you know me at the yeah. moment right now as as cliche and dumb as that sounds I'm like and even just going back to the whole Spotify thing I'm like I did I listened my top bands and songs none of them were punk (laughs) and a couple up there i was like uh what is it i guess like some of my top genres were uh punk i guess was number one but there probably wasn't like one band or whatever number two i guess this is a genre and i found it anime (laughs) number three i don't know what the hell this is it's like uh heartland rock that must be dragula because I listened to oh. that song a bunch. Oh, you tell me your your genre, your top genre. Yeah, yeah, the top genres on yeah. like uh, Spotify, and then pop punk, and then J Idol music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine, my my genres were pop punk number one. Yeah, number two was um, gangster rap. <laughs> number You're three like, was yes. was number three was emo. Yeah, number four was um, what was it? It was a. Uh, it was a dirty South rap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what number five was, Yeah, but like it, it was, it was something in those categories. It's like, it's either hardcore gangster rap or punk or pop punk. Yeah. And then it's like my, you know, favorite or my artists or whatever that were like some of the biggest ones or the top songs. They were all, it was awkward, which is an anime band. Uh, Lisa with a lowercase I anime music. <laughs> Lisa again, anime music twice, which is K-pop, and ah, I have to, <laughs> uh, distinguish there Haruka Tamatsu, which is Japanese <laughs> pop music. So when you were saying about punk, I'm like, dude, I'm not punk at all. And I think people listen to the tone jerks. I'm like, you guys are punk. I'm like, no, no. I we honestly every single time, I'm like, no, yeah. we're not punk. Yeah, uh, Kyle moved to Texas uh, to be pop punk because he hates yeah. his hometown. But his own little problem too. I hate this town. 
I need to move from my hometown. And so Kyle like, did. The three pop punk states are Florida, California, and Texas. Yeah. Those are like the pop punk states. Yeah. I guess Bowling for Soup, they're from Texas, I think. Yeah. Ugh. Like 90% of the of pop punk bands are either from Florida or, or California or possibly Texas. Yeah. And then Florida, it's just like football you... players. The best football players come from Texas, Florida, and California. Yeah. I uh I don't know much about football. The the other weekend I actually did uh watch uh hung out with my buddy uh train and we were like uh he's getting his podcast kind of started so we recorded an episode uh together and then we're kind of talking about like what we what he wanted to name it. I'm trying to be just a producer of that show. Yeah. And then we were hanging out. So we only recorded for maybe like thirty minutes and then the rest of it he's like, Oh, let's watch football and I'm like I don't think I've really ever watched football before. <laughs> And I'm sitting there. I'm a 33 year old man. I'm asking another guy. I'm like, so, what does that mean? <laughs> and he's like, e- what game did you watch? Ah, oh, God, I, uh, I, you know what? Pass. Sorry, Joe. I don't oh, remember shit. who it was. was it called? Pro. Uh, it, it was pro. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what it was, but he was watching. Was it, it a cause... California team? No. No, no, no. It, it was. Uh, it was the Raiders with somebody, and they. I was like, "That's a nice stadium. That's cool." Because I guess they built the one in. Oh, Las so Vegas. Th- it was Thanksgiving. It was the one before. It was like a weekend or so before that. But it, <laughs> oh, okay, I don't remember what it was, but it was just like he was watching it because I guess he's got. Uh, was it the uh, fantasy football kind of deal? Yeah, yeah. And I'm watching this, and I'm like just drinking a beer. We're like hanging out. I'm like, dude, I feel like an American man. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is great. I'm drinking a Miller Light. And I'm hanging out watching a football game. I'm like, this is good. Instead of like a child that I am. I'm like, oh yeah. This- I watch every Dolphins game ever. Mm-hmm. Um, just because I'm a fucking sadomasochist. <laughs> but it's it's like a same thing where it's like I could watch uh like baseball or it, most sports. I'm like, this is just kind. Of, this is just kind of fun. If you go to a baseball Baseball's- game. Baseball, so well, you go, it's cool, but like if you're watching, it's so fucking okay. Well, that I, golf, like preface that with a you go and you're eating and just getting drunk. I'm like, this is awesome. Yeah. Now, if I go there and I'm eating and drinking and like partying, that's different. You're like, this is but, sick. <laughs> yeah. And playing golf is fun, but watching golf is horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have never done golf, played golf, I guess I should say. Uh, not done golf. I've like, I'm like, oh man, that seems like a, a fun game to play i'm like a lot of my friends now are all kind of getting into it i have my yeah, drum, my drummer will. yeah and will, and will fucking, too like that's all he does anymore he's golf dad now will yeah. let you of <laughs> of a uh, just surprise me yeah, the yeah, trash yeah. man uh the, tra- <laughs> the the trashiest guy we know yeah um, i call him a trash person not a trash man because <laughs> i like 2021 stereotypes <laughs> you're a trash person garbage person yeah. bad yeah. man uh he <laughs> yeah he's um he was mentioning to me, I'm like, oh, I think it was like the past year or whatever. He took up a golfing. He's like, man, now this is yet again. Is it every single hobby an expensive, expensive. one? Expensive. Yeah. Hey, like every, is it really? I, I'm trying to think. Oh, about I used it to golf all the time, but I had some cheap ass clubs. And the most expensive part was the fact that I had to keep buying balls because I'd fucking lose the balls. <laughs> You're like, boom, right into the drink. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's this one course in Ocala, uh, which I lived in for a while when I started a certain band. Yeah. And, uh, one of the holes ran perpendicular to the road. So like, it's like the roads here, the holes here. And when you fucking swing it, if that ball slices at all, it's going into the road. <laughs> what happens then? You like, run, <laughs> you pretend like somebody else did it. You're like, Oh, it wasn't me. Yeah. This has your fucking name on it. Like, why did oh, you, I could have, I think I, the statue of limitations is up. So I think I probably have hit a car before. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if you get like, I got these balls imprinted with my face on it. You're just like yeah. smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him like the, the fucking buddy Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> Joe's face. There you go. Uh oh, that's a movie I gotta add to my list for Masters of the Cinematic Universe. I gotta add Dogma. Mm-hmm. I would do Clerks first. Yeah, I think we are doing Clerks uh pretty soon, actually. I think it's one of it's either Doug or Eric's movies. That's my a, movies that's a good like, one are sure. the ones that most people haven't either haven't heard of or are really fucking funny. Um no, I, I'm gonna show my ass here. Um, have you guys done that thing you do yet? We're about to. Did you guys? Uh, we have a guest for that one Fuck. too. I think. <laughs> um, let me double check on that. I feel like it's somebody from like a guitar podcast too. That's one of my. Oh damn! Well then, 
Uh, I'll be sure to tune in. That's definitely one of my favorite movies. As like corny and cheesy as it is, you know, it's like it's it's like extra cheese in that movie. Yeah, <laughs> but I love Let's it. See. I goddamn love the hell out of that. Pull them on this. I know uh, Andrew Walsh get fucked is doing Friday with us. That Doug's never seen Friday. Oh fuck hell yeah! Oh, you'll never guess who's doing that thing you do with us. Uh, it's somebody you know, Steve. Kevin Equits of Equits Guitars. Oh, I love it. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. He's I mean, I was and about to say week, wh- whoever is on that show, bump him. But no, not not Kevin. Kevin that one Kevin's comes out in February. Um, we record it in January. Then we're doing Jaws right after that with uh, Alex Garaldi of Copper Sound. He's been on so many times. What the fuck? We've only been on once. This is like his he's, this third is his or fourth second time. episode. No, no I thought he was on again. Did, um, and we're doing Terminator 2 with this um guy adam richards who does like a fret talk podcast yeah yeah yeah. uh budget, uh, pe- budget pedal shop a uh, budget pedal shop yeah i'm not fret talk fret, is it is that the same thing or is it different fret talk no lee 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 alexander i think is the guy from fret talk maybe no no, no. uh budget pedal chap is on fret talk lee okay. alexander is pedal boards of doom but sometimes they do a show together i, got I think you. He's doing Super Mario Brothers with us, the 1993 movie. <laughs> you guys got a whole fucking, you got it stacked over there. <laughs> yeah, dude. We got a bunch of guests coming up. Um, we've had Blake Wyland from the Tow Mob. He did uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark with us, where he told the best story about spicy pluses. Yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know if I, I should go back and bleep out uh, <laughs> Budget Pedals Chap's real name. <laughs> Oh, is that we're not supposed to know what that is? I don't know. I'm just kidding. It's just funny that I'm like, <laughs> why did he never post his name? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but Doug said that. Up. Doug, Doug's going after people. Also, um, we have this funny idea that we're going to do um, yeah. on that podcast where we want to do, we do, bon- we're doing bonus episodes. We're going to start doing more bonus episodes there. Mm-hmm. Um, but Doug's going to reach out to people in the movie industry and like, not just like, actors which would be cool if we get actors like yeah, to come yeah, on yeah. and do like a bonus episode of us just talking about their careers but we also want like the fucking best boy the key grip mm-hmm. the fucking caterer we just want to know like all the shit behind the scenes of the movie industry yeah no that'd be that'd be really cool um maybe you could also hit up uh mike from sonic pickups he okay. uh, used to do like special like or practical effects and makeup and stuff like that for movies nice. so that might be a, yeah, kind of a-, a cool get definitely got to hit him up then and yeah, you see what movies he's done and then watch that one and then he can give you some behind the scenes on that yeah that'd be cool i'm like, just like here like producing your podcast like i got ideas for you guys well this is, big, i mean big, like when big i need topics, brain stuff <laughs> for uh, you might you know who knows this but just surprise me brian is actually the topic creator for that show yeah yeah <laughs> i'll just like <laughs> blow you guys up i got these ideas even today when you were coming onto this show I yeah. think I was just like blowing you up. We haven't even hit a half of the things that I was like, oh, we could yeah. do this. We could do that. We could do that. And you're like, I think we're coming up on an hour almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The prep for just surprised me for me is, are you guys going to show up today or do I need to get guests? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the amount of prep I do now. But, uh, yeah, I, this episode was definitely different than a tone jerks episode, but I had fun. It was, we, ah, we just kind of are riffing baby. But yeah. yeah we, really like we didn't even hit a topic. I didn't even Did tell we, you my, oh, my, my what's new yet. It's fine. Wait, we got to bang, Mary kill something. No, nah, I, I, I think we're, we might be actually over time. We did it. What the fuck? You guys actually, you actually keep the time on the show. Wow. I don't know. We kind of <laughs> keep it at around an hour, but we try to, but it never works out. Yeah, no, that was, uh, that was, that was actually a lot of fun. Nice. I like that. That's, that's what I like to hear. Yeah, it was, uh, anytime you need someone to fucking, uh, come on, I'm always available. Yeah. All he, all he did was just. You know, talk about our Spotify playlist, which I'm sure every other podcast is going to talk about. <laughs> yeah, that's a topic. I was like, I what, mean, what a hack thing to talk about. It was like half the episode. <laughs> I mean, at least you didn't talk about sleeping with all your Patreons. Yeah, uh, there you go. Which, uh, you know, hey, I just want to say thank you, Joe. Yeah, I had to sleep with you later <laughs> as a oh, thank you. Yeah. But, Bite my shiny metal ass. Yeah, but before we head on out of here, um, where can people find you? Let's do the plugs one more time. Uh, you got a lot of shit going on. What's going on? Where can people find you? And you know, see yeah, all the goodness. Listen to some podcasts. Just surprise me, or Masters of the Cinematic Universe. You can find it on any place that you normally find uh, podcasts. Listen to it um, on Spotify so that they're in your top five next year. Yeah. Um, and I've kind of pulled back a little bit on this lately, just because. 
with supply shortages and just my timing and everything going on, but I do still have a pedal place called like my pedals. I just haven't been doing very many pedals lately because it's just hard to get supplies at the moment. And mm-hmm. um, I'm pulling my hair out trying to get things done. And like, I just, I, I don't like that, that part of it. So like, I've kind of calmed down on that a bit, but I do still have it. I'm just, it's all per request request at this moment. I'm not like advertising or anything. <laughs> yeah. 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 So until things kind of maybe settled down a little bit, Least, yeah, uh, until until the people in California can figure out how to unload chips. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I mean, besides the pedal company, maybe taking a little bit of a break on that. You're keeping busy still. You're doing. You're watching the movies. You got the podcast. You're getting all that going. Um, yeah. Plus so, five kids. You know. All the that's well, have yeah. five of the kids. Yeah, the five. So, the the five. Uh, you know, the and rug two rats. of them are babies, which like is really fucking hard. Got the rug rats around there. So um, yeah. yeah. So I'll link all your podcasts and everything in the description of the show uh again again i'm gonna say it so many times joe thank you so much this was uh i'm like it's just hitting you up like the bat signal I'm like joe can you do it <laughs> yeah i was like i was like fuck yeah i can <laughs> so, I, like i'm i'm always available for you if you need anybody you know who to call definitely and uh sorry it took you so took so long that's my bad it's our bad actually yeah. i'm blaming all on kyle fuck him it's kyle <laughs> kyle fucking hates me <laughs> i hope you get sick forever <laughs> You never get well, <laughs> but no. Actually, all me and Kyle talk about is guns. Yeah, like, that's, that's our shared co- our shared interest. Yeah, that's the that's the common thread there. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, if you like the show, if you like the tone jerks, you can uh, follow along on uh, social media. We have a Facebook group uh, linked in the description, or search the tone jerks. You'll find it. We are on Instagram at the tone jerks, uh, posting cool shit on the reg over there. And then if you really like the show, you can help support it on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. But if you double down for 2 bucks a month, you get an extra episode every week. And uh, I'm going to read the names this week uh, in a different order because I... Do I get to do the sound effects? Yes, if you could. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm doing the least dugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we just want to say thank you to everybody. Want to give you a huge shout out. Uh, let's see, what do we got going on here? Oh, okay, I'm starting at the top, so it's a little bit uh, different order here. So uh, we want to say thank you to uh, Matthew Davis. We got uh, oh yeah, Nicholas <laughs> Nicholas Payson, we my man, my- <laughs> Michael McVeigh. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's actually one of ours too. Oh, there you go. We got that's uh, his drop. We got uh, we got our, our our everybody's favorite boy over there. We got Matthew Fencelaw. Oh yeah. We got Tyler from Tyler KC Riffs on Instagram. It's nice. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, you gotta get the boar rat in there. Uh, we got <laughs> that's for Elod. Is, is Elod one of yours? Ah uh, no, he hates. Ah oh, damn it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fucking Fuck. Elod. <laughs> we got Jonathan Jeverzik from 12th Hour Devices. Ooh. We got Tim Nowick from Bardic Audio Devices. My man. He's one of ours, too. There you go. Uh, we got Scott Hamilton from the Effects Loop Podcast. Check him out. Mm. We got uh, YouTube star uh, Eric Merrow. <laughs> Wait, is that is that the Elm guy? Elm Effects. Elm Effects. Not, e- ELM? not ELM. It looks oh. like ELM. I, I felt like a fucking idiot when I listened. So I, told, I, I said I'm it. Like, oh, it looked like ELM. Like, like it's like a you know it's like that's and this the, is initials. Yeah, like, and I'm like fuck? it's actually brilliant on so many levels. It really is. <laughs> uh, we, actually, Eric will be on the Patreon for this week, so Kyle's you know out sick. So yeah, you know, we'll we'll get more into like why the fuck did you name it ELM or Elm instead of ELM? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, we got Zach Hale. We got. Uh, Actually, I got to get these these guys together. I got to, you know, need a, w- a wide berth for these guys. We got Mike Ox big. We got a huge <laughs> G-rection. <laughs> and then we have uh, Izzy and yet. <laughs> <laughs> if we got to say it like um like Moses like do, do I have a huge G-rection here? Huge G-rection. You sure don't. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Ox big. Juan Ortiz from Tone Hungry Effects. We have Steve Rao from 60 Cycle Hum. There Pro- are four lights! <laughs> That's Steve's, because he always has to tell me I'm wrong. Wrong. 
We got uh, Sean Wright from Lollygagger Effects. We have, uh, oh shit, this is his real name. I gotta say, um, Mel Chipson from Chipson Guitars. <laughs> oh, you got that guy? Yeah. I fucking love his shit. <laughs> He's the best. <laughs> Different guy, but they're, yeah, I think they're brothers. Uh, we got Nicholas Ogburn. We have uh, Brian from Nutter Guitars. Mm, Nutter. N- do it. Uh, er. <laughs> and then we- <laughs> Nicholas Payson. We have Alvaro Viramontes. We have Sean Fahey. We have Kevin Equits from Equits Guitars. And also the, uh, you know, that thing you do episode that I really wanted to be on. Anyways, uh, <laughs> we have Steve Mike from Hardly Human. We have Sean Arbo from Gun Street Wiring Shop. We have the young king, Doug King, over there. We have Andrew Walsh from uh, the Second Button Podcast. Wink. Get fucked. Double wink. Check it out. <laughs> We have Jason Fuzzmonger. We have Jamie Ooh, Davis. Oh, she got a great ass. You know, if they're if they're a JSM Patreon, I got to give them their their drops. <laughs> what about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'll give you more space. Jason Fuzzmonger. Oh, she's got a great ass. <laughs> we got Jamie Davis. Boo! You suck. <laughs> we got Will Lahue. Will doesn't have one. He's got a fucking Patreon. I guess he could just do Eeyore. Hey guys. Or, or, hey guys, I'm Will. <laughs> All right, we got Abe Newman. We got uh, well, Joe from Like My Pedals. Just surprised me. Masters of the Cinematic Universe. And then, Bite my shiny metal ass. <laughs> and then we have uh, Johnny Ray. Or no, we have Howie Feltersnatch. <laughs> That's a good one. Let's see. And then we have RJ from Teletalks. That's a huge pile of shit. <laughs> and then we have Co Schneider from the Flippin' Flippers podcast. And uh, I think that's it. That's my whole list here. You, you forgot, unless he unless he pulled his fucking uh, subscription or Patreon. Maybe he did, but we'll give him a shout out anyways. It's on my list according to whatever. So maybe I, maybe I did fuck up. But we got, last but not least, Doug Christ from 37 we'll Effects. We'll see. Pussy, 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 pussy. <laughs> just, just, just surprised me. And Masters of the Cinematic Universe. All right, this is a lot of fun. Joe, thank you so much. I think uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Later, bitch.